So here I am with my photo frame um, which uh, I've waxed in in black and what I want to do here is uh, reveal what happens underneath. Now in the process of doing this I've had a few uh, second thoughts about how successful this is going to be um, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see when I reveal by taking off the protective plastic here. I'm just going to double check here by going around with my wax crayon and just making sure that there's no obvious little errors. I can see in the pore there there's a few issues but uh, as I say having a few second thoughts because as I was doing this um, it just felt as if the wax wasn't filling these, filling these pores particularly well. Um, I think the bones are going to be quite successful. That all looks fine. I feel as if you've got to kind of rub quite hard with a wax crayon to get it into all these little gaps. So, um, but uh, having said that, looking over here, it looks like s the, the plastic is starting to peel away and that might be a bit of a problem with the pore. But I think that's enough. Let, let's just peel it off. Let's just see what we get. So, moment of truth. Okay, well, you know, actually, that is pretty cool. I'm quite pleased with that. There's bits of black wax crayon going everywhere. Pop that in the bin. I'll leave that on for now. I'm not going to worry about that. This is looking actually surprisingly quite good, I have to say, considering how I disastrous I thought it might be. And I've just got some little tweezers here. Can I just remove the plastic here. And that's not coming so easily. Is the one that I can peel off here? Is that starting to go? Yeah, this, that's been a real problem there to remove the protective plastic in the middle of the bones. So what I'm going to do is um, pause here and I'll have a bit more of a detailed go at this um, and then we'll see where we stand. Okay, so as you can see, I've got pretty much all of the bones, uh, the, the protective plastic in the middle of the bones removed there. That's looking rather nice. And to do that, what I ended up doing was not using some tweezers, but a small X-Acto blade. I just brought the blade out just a tiny little bit there. And then I found that if I could just hook the blade underneath the protective plastic, peel it away without scratching the surface of the acrylic, and then grab it and just peel that away and that seemed to be the best solution and then pop that in the bin. Um, notice that um, as I'm doing this I'm getting wax onto my fingers so I've got to make sure that I just keep them clean as much as possible here and also I've, I've still got all these little bits of wax on the plastic here um, so I've got a paper towel here and I'm just going to see if I can just kind of carefully just dry paper towel just wipe that off. I don't really want to damage any of the wax that's in the paw prints and you can see here it's just starting to smear a little bit so I've got to be a little careful. I'm not entirely sure what's happening here. Yeah, again you see it's coming off on the paper towel. What's happening with the paws around here? The, um, the wax doesn't seem to have gone into the paws particularly look successfully. So Try and give that a bit more of a firmer wipe here, actually, to proceed. Does that help? Yeah, that's kind of helping, actually, because the wax is wiping off the glossy finish. Although, if I sh show this in the light, it's a little bit uh, greasy in places. So, let's just go with this slightly damp paper towel here. And if I use that, what happens instead? Yeah, I feel as if that's kind of helping. Again, you can see there's some some of the black wax coming off here. Okay, um, now let's have a see where it's not gone into all of these bones very well, like here for example, you know, could I now go over that a bit more firmly with the protective plastic off? I'm just kind of experimenting here. Let's see if, yeah, kind of filling that area better and over here there's a few gaps. So I'm trying to just fill in some of the small little areas that I've discovered. And over here, as I say, with these pores, can I perhaps get the wax crayon more firmly in there? Okay, so it's not perfect, but I'm just trying to pick out a few little issues. And then again, let's try the um, the dry paper towel. How is that working? Is that pulling that away? All of my pores seem to have kind of bonded together there. Let's have a look over here. That was my, my bone there. I put a bit more wax in down here. So that's with the that's with a damp paper towel. 
and again it's just a little bit greasy and messy in places so then just perhaps go with a light paper towel does that clean that up so this really it feels as if I've got to try and work this a little bit definitely need to try and rub a bit more there and you see now it's starting to potentially rub the wax out of some of the pores there which I'm a little bit worried about so I'm going to keep on working this I'll pause the video keep on working it and see if I can get to a stage where I'm kind of reasonably okay with it let's see what happens yeah so I, I found there that the best solution actually was uh, to work with a dry paper towel not uh, a wet paper towel the wet paper towel was really just pulling the wax out of the pores here so maybe if I was just working with the outlines of the bones a damp paper towel would be okay but in this case with the open pores uh, yeah a dry paper towel is definitely the best solution and in the process of doing this I've noticed as well that actually some of the wax seems to have gone into the engraving over here so if I peel this back where I'm going to be placing my picture there's actually a little bit of wax just getting into that edge too but I think we'll be able to hide it with the picture when we're done so there we are I'm, I'm going to well, I might do a little bit more over there I've just noticed but I'm pretty much okay with that now uh, I could keep on tweaking it of course but I'm, I'm going to move on so we'll see where we go in the next video